Welcome once again to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage here with Neil Mankin, editor of Skin Knuckles with all kinds of interesting hints and tips on car restoration and doing things for the home hobbyists. What do you got today? Well, I can't take credit for a lot of these, Jay. Mm -hmm. These I have to credit to my readers. Okay. We hold a contest a couple of times a year to have them send in their ideas, their shop hints, their tips. Right. And some of these ideas have come from them. Cool. What do you have? Well, first of all, if you have a headlight cover, the right. plastic headlight covers, they turn to get gray and cloudy right. from ultraviolet. Sure. Uh, you can spend a lot of money and get a very expensive kit to clean it up. Right. Or you can use just a grinder, right. low speed, and something that we should have around the house. Toothpaste. Just a little tube of toothpaste. Okay. Put a little bit on the pad. And that works, huh? It's an abrasive. Yeah. You don't want to create heat. You don't want to go too fast. Right. It's got to be slow, gentle. Can you do it by hand or is it better off? It's better off there. You get so many more revolutions on right, this one. Right. You can control it. And yeah, the, the toothpaste spits out out over the car. Mm -hmm. You just wash it right off. Right. But it's a very, very easy and way. And that's a good to, plastic cleaner. Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. I've done my wife's car. I've done my truck with these. Yeah. And of course, his teeth are minty fresh. The car has a fresh breath right, and a nice right. smile. Right. <laughs> And this is Colgate, but you can use any, anything, any, any brand, anything, Crest, yes. whatever, okay. Yes. Cool, very right. cool. All right, that's a good one, that's a good one. What's next? We all have telescoping magnets in our toolbox, mm -hmm. and they all get lost someplace. Right. They're chrome, and they, they're silvery, and they get lost. I paint it. Okay. I just paint the handle, and it, it's been used a little bit, Yeah. but you can see the green okay. amongst the, the chrome tools. Oh, okay, oh, I see. And it's all very right. identifiable. All right. Well, that's easy. Well, you have that in your I'm hand. I'm not sure that's actually a tip, but yeah, okay, all right, all right. That's well, as long as you have it in your hand. I one of the guess problems. That's, okay. that's like half a tip. Uh, half painted, a... painted a different color. Okay, all right. That's like half a tip. All right. I'll well, give no, you that as one. long as you have that in your hand. Yeah. One of the problems with the telescoping magnets. Mm -hmm. It's a great, great tool. Right. But when you put it down to retrieve a little nut or a screw, right. it always grabs against the side of the, right. the engine. Put a little piece of rubber tubing on oh, there. Oh, I see. On the end. On the end, and all that's exposed is the tip of the magnet. So you can pick it up, okay. And you can just use it to pick up an item. Cool. But it doesn't grab to the side. It doesn't, yeah, because I know what you mean. You go down and go, yeah, you Exactly. Stuck. Okay, exactly. that combined with the paint, that would equal one full tip. One and a quarter. All right, one and a quarter. Because you had, this is half a tip, and that's half a tip. So there's one full tip right there. That's actually, <laughs> that's good. All right, I'll, I'll give you that one. That's, that's a really good idea. Right. Whenever you make a sandwich, you always take a little plastic tag off the bread, right. throw it away. There's no use for this. We well, some of us don't use the whole loaf when we make a sandwich. So we I make a big sandwich. Yeah, I was gonna say, I yeah. got a dagwood. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> There's a great use for these things. When you're working with wires, label your wires. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, yeah. Ignition coil wires or ignition sure. wires. Okay. We number them. Okay, like this would be whole wheat, this is rye. <laughs> okay. You've done this before. Yeah, oh, I see. But you know, that's a great idea. That's a cool idea. And if you've got several wires, yeah. for example, from a, um, a voltage regulator, you mark a coil, battery, yeah. generator, and you can come back later and identify exactly right. what wire is where. Cool, cool. Instead of putting a little piece of masking tape on there and right. writing on gotcha, it. Gotcha, gotcha. That works cool. Very, very simple, very great but idea. But you know, you're going to eat a lot of bread. I mean, you got, you got six loaves of bread right here. <laughs> 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 I was say, okay. Now, what are more painted tools? More painted tools. I had a lot of extra paint. Okay. When you're crawling around into the car mm -hmm. and you're working on, for example, a half inch head bolt, mm -hmm. uh, you know that you're using a half inch wrench, mm -hmm. but you, now you need an open end. You grab an open end and you gotta start searching to see is it half inch, is it nine sixteenths? Right. You paint the half inch the same color. Oh, all half inches are the these same are all, color. All of these are half okay. inch in blue. Right or nine sixteenths in gold. Right. And it makes it much, much easier to identify the sizes when gotcha. you're working under yeah. a car. Cool, cool. You grab a wrench and you know right away that's your nine sixteenths, that's your half inch. Cool. Wow. Very simple. Very, very easy. simple, very simple, very easy. More tips and uh, get clean teeth as well. Neil, thank you. Jay, thank you. Any simpler than that.